Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my reaction to my Marilyn Terps going ahead and hiring Kevin Wheeler from Scene Hall to be the next head coach of the men of the men's basketball program at Marilyn. Before I continue, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, please subscribe to your channel. Really appreciate if you do that. Really trying to grow the channel. Um, I'm gonna be as nice as I can when I say this. Uh, this is a dog shit hire. This is a horrible hire. Um, and I'm going to go through everything, what I think about this hire, and why I'm going to tell you it's a horrible hire. But, um, first of all, how is this guy your top candidate to be the next head coach at the University of Maryland? And let me just say my expectations for Maryland real quick. Um, I know I'm probably a delusional Maryland fan, um, but my expectations are pretty simple for the Maryland's men's basketball program. I'll go on a five-year uh, time lapse. Every five years, I expect to at least make one Sweet 16 at minimum. I also expect in a 10-year uh, stretch to at least get to two Elite Eights at minimum. Uh, that has not happened at Maryland Elite Eight since Gary Williams has been here. Um, and basically, I view Maryland as a top 25-ish program. I think probably a top 25 program most years. And overall, what they where they should be, obviously this year uh, was not that. But I, I mean, this is a horrible hire. I mean, this is a downgrade for Mark Trojan, in my opinion. I mean, say what you about want, say what you want about Mark Trojan. I've criticized him before, uh, pretty harshly on this channel. But I think he's a better coach than Kevin Willard, in my opinion. I mean, I look at Kevin Willard's resume. Um, he, he comes from Seeing Hall. He's been at Seeing Hall now for 12 seasons. I mean, he has a below uh, 500 record in the conference. And he's 1-5 in, in NCAA tournament play. He's been to the tournament five times and only got pat, and only got through once to the past the uh, first round, to the round 32. I mean, that, that, I mean, at least Trojan made a Sweet 16 in his 10 years here at Maryland. I mean, this is a downgrade type hire, and people are going to make the argument, oh, but it brings consistency to the program. It brings a direction. Yeah, Barry making the NCAA tournament consistency. I mean, this is a horrible hire. This is an F hire. This is the type of hire you make when you look around and can't get your first coaching options, your second coaching options, your 20th coaching options. This guy wouldn't even be in the top 20 of names of coaches that I would want to be the Maryland head coach. And, my, and I haven't created a list of coaches I wanted to be the Maryland head coach. I should have came on here and made a video of the coaches I wanted as the Maryland head coach. Uh, personally, I wanted Nate Oates from Alabama. That's the guy I wanted. I think that guy will go places if he gets a little bit of a better job. Um, I, I will look at Bruce Pearl also in that state. I don't know if he'll be willing to leave Auburn. I think he's kind of an SEC guy, but I will give him a call. I know Rick, Rick uh, Pertino, Iona, um, I know he said he wasn't interested. I was still made that call. Um, there were, I mean, there were several coaches out there. For instance, I think the Providence coach was kind of in the gang th tossed around. At least he's in a Sweet 16. At least there's hope there. Um, I would like to see him at least get a call. Uh, for Kevin Wheeler to be the number one head coach, um, the number one option for um, athletic director Evans is a disgrace. And and I, look, I mean, you look at the contract, seven years, thirty million. So I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Um, he'll be lucky to make it through here seven years in Maryland. He'll probably be make it through five. He'll make one NCAA double uh, double A. Uh, Torment and he'll lose in the in the first round. That's what's gonna happen. This is a horrible hire. I grade an F. Um, and I mean a few other names. Uh, the head coach of New Mexico State. He went ahead and got the Mississippi State job. I thought he, he's a good. I think he's a good coach. I think at worst that's a ladder hire. Um, you look. I mean I will give him the Florida State coach a, a call. There's several coaches that I would have sat down and gave a call. Um, I know the Loyola, the Loyola Chicago coach, um, I know he uh, went ahead and took the Oklahoma job um, after last season. By the way, a really good athletic program in Oklahoma. I mean, would you want to give him the call at Oklahoma after just one season, come get the Maryland job? I would have. Um, in my opinion, I think Maryland absolutely dropped the ball here. I think this is a horrible hire. 
I think this is and I this is a safe hire. This is a type of hire you make that, as I said, when your your first like twenty some options on your head on the list of names you want to hire as your head coach um, doesn't doesn't work out. Uh, this is a second place hire in my opinion. What I mean by that is it's not an aggressive hire. And kind of what I alluded before, it's a safe hire. You um and also and people are gonna make the argument well he's he's kind of from the area New Jersey he's gonna recruit the area well. I do think to a degree Maryland kind of recruits himself itself the Maryland basketball program, um, but I do get that argument. Maybe he can recruit better than Trojan. I think that's the only positive out of this. But even then, oh he brings consistency to the program. Yeah, first round exit consistency. This is a horrible hire. I do not approve this hire, and I, I hope, and I think he's going to find out very quickly that, uh, basically, that this is, isn't going to be for him. I don't think he's going to succeed here in Maryland. I really don't. I wish he will. I, I wish him the best, though, Kevin Wheeler. I do think, I, I hope he succeeds. But in my personal opinion, I think this is a horrible hire. I don't think he's going to succeed. And, I mean, this is, I mean, for instance, this past tournament, Seen Hall. I made a comment during my March Madness uh, bracket, which, by the way, my Final Four is still intact. Uh, but I did not have a good uh, round 32, but my Final Four is still intact. Um, I, I sat there and said, picking this 8 9 matchup, number 8 Seen Hall versus number 9 TCU. I said, I think Seen Hall is going to win. I got that pick wrong. Um, but I, sit, I did sit there and say, I hope they don't. I hope. They don't win this, which they didn't. They got absolutely, absolutely ran off the court by TCU, and Maryland still goes ahead and hires them. It's a horrible hire by Athletic Director Evans. And by the way, I always, I think I made the comment about seven-year contract, but it's, it's a horrible contract, and he's getting, I think, a little over four million a year, so seven years, twenty-eight, thirty million range. Um, just horrible, just horrible contract, horrible hire overall. I do not approve of this hire. Um, it really upsets me that Maryland feels like this is a type A hire. This is number one on their list. This is not a guy that would not have been number one on my list, nor number two, three, four, or five. I don't even think it would be in the top ten, possibly even in the top twenty. Um, and I would have went out and got the Providence coach. At least I would have sat that come on here and say there was hope in the hire. But since he's in a Sweet Sixteen right now. But this is a horrible hire. Um, I wish Kevin Wheeler the best, um, but I, I honestly don't think this is going to work out. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to your channel. We really appreciate you do that. McDee the Beast signing off.